everybody I had to just come on here real <laughs> real quick just to show you my hair um, I know there's this um, flurry all over YouTube about 4C hair and we can't do um, wash and goes and I really liked um, what's her name oh my god I forgot her name and she did that Drake parody about uh, 4C's uh, wash and goes don't work for 4C hair Wash and goes don't work for my 4C hair or nappy hair. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I forgot her name. But I just have to come on here. I'm going to link it right here though. But I just have to come on here to show my amended wash and go or the best way to achieve a wash and go for 4C hair. I just wanted to come on here and show you my hair. You can see, oh well hopefully you can see the, the definition. I will admit that there are some areas that are very fuzzy which is because I have 4C hair. It's harder to get every single strand defined but I was able to achieve this much and really all I need to do is kind of retouch some of the areas. I spritz my hair at night you know and kind of run some of the gel through it or I can use the spritz. I'm referring to the kinky curly um, curling custard whatever you call it um, I think it's perfect for my hair especially too because my hair is really dry I have damaged cuticles which uh, I still can't understand why my heat damage has not been resolved uh, maybe I need to shave my head and start over from scratch but I had heat damage about three years ago then I stopped using heat so I haven't used heat for that long and uh, I don't know, my hair was flourishing for a time and then all of a sudden it started falling out and it just turned into straw and it was just horrible. So the only product that I can think of to use or I've had any positive experiences since my hair has fallen into this ridiculous state is the Kinky Curly. The Agave Nectar moisturizes my hair, the Aloe Vera seals it and it also flattens the cuticles which same thing that's what seals your hair flattening the cuticles and uh, my hair stays moist and defined for however long I keep the gel in which it's not advisable to keep it in longer than maybe 10 days because uh, you know with the fine strands it gets all tangled and then it's hard to you know detangle blah 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 but sometimes I'll do two weeks Right now, today is day, I guess day one. I did it la yesterday. Um, so it's a little bit crunchy. And like I said, my hair has been chronically dry. It's been shedding and breaking like uh, my hair has been raining in pieces out of my head. So that's a separate issue. I need to look into some strengthening treatments, which will be in another video. But I just want to come on here and say that... Uh, if you have 4C hair, really kinky hair, that kinky curly gel is really good. It took me months before I figured out how to use it, but eventually I understood that there were certain products you could use with it, certain products you can't use with it. Some people do not like the leave-in that it comes with, because I don't think that leave-in does anything for my hair per se, but I think the gel itself is so good that I don't think it should be a problem to use it with that leave-in. But there are some other leave-ins that you can use. I'm going to try to link them in the down bar. Um, Oyin's, is it uh, Honey Hemp? Oyin, Oyin's Honey Hemp. Um, I think Curl Junkie Smoothing Lotion. Those are the only two I can remember as leave-ins that play well with the Kinky Curly Gel. Um, right now I'm not even using a leave-in. I was so intent on getting the kinky curly gel that I had no money left to buy a leave-in so I just deep conditioned my hair with this Palmer's coconut oil thing. You know what, let me go and find those products. Okay, I am back. So I, I paid like a dollar something for this. It's the Palmer's coconut oil formula with vitamin E. I know it's not a good idea because it has a bunch of silicones and I've already decided that I'm not using any um any more sulfate shampoos but I needed a really good deep conditioning system with protein it has keratin and still protein and it has coconut milk and those are just so impressive to me I just hate the fact that it has sulfates um, but aside from that everything else it has seems okay I mean there are a bunch of chemicals in there but there's no mineral oil or anything like waxy because my skin doesn't like wax I break out when I use waxy products so yes it has dimethicone, cyclohexasiloxane and cyclopentasiloxane 
I think those are the three silicones. Then it has the keratin, coconut oil, and coconut extract, hydrolyzed silk, vitamin E, and those are the main things. Non-fat dry milk, I don't even know what that does, but yeah. So hey, I'm just going to risk it with the silicones. I rinsed it out, and then, see it says no sulfates, no parabens, whatever. So I rinsed that out, and then I put the Kinky Curly Curling Custard, and that was nice. You know, it's going on good. I think it would be more moisturizing if I use a nice leave-in. But being as it's day one, and I just need to probably, you know, re-moisturize my hair tonight and put some more gel in it, maybe it should soften it up. So I'm going to try to do a video every single day that I have my hair like this because it's been the, it's the first in a long time that I've used this just because I found it hard to scrape up the money to buy this. I'm on a really strict international student budget where I mean $17 for a hair product is a big deal. That's like lunch money so I'm going hungry to buy this. <laughs> so I mean if you can afford it definitely give it a shot but if you're on a budget I really don't have too many options for you I um I was using a castor oil mix I think castor oil is a really good sealant if you have really dry yes, I'm back again obviously because my memory ran out again um, so I was really just saying that castor oil is a really good heavy oil to seal in um, moisture into hair, especially if your hair is highly porous, you have damaged cuticles, you lose a lot of moisture, you have a problem just keeping that moisture. And sometimes, I think sometimes you're looking for this soft hair, but when it's too soft, you can't style it. And especially when it's 4C, then you have an issue. So it's really an intricate balance. It's a quest for... Um, the perfectly hydrated curl. <laughs> if I'm going to borrow a little bit of Denim Pixie's um, <clears throat> slogan, um, you know, you just want to you want to have the right amount of moisture and strength and protein. And it's it, 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 I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm doing these videos as a personal project or, or a vlog for myself, and I'm hoping that there's you know I can help some of y'all out there. I don't know if this view is um, giving you a more of a close-up on the definition or some strands as you can see are more defined than others um, I don't have a viewfinder or anything so I don't really know what you're seeing but I'm hoping that you have a closer view right now and um, I, I think I had already uploaded a video or I intend to upload a video. I did film a video on the oils that I use. So I did talk about that castor oil that I use, a castor oil mix. So I really just, um, you know, had that to say. Um, uh, maybe I could do another video of me actually applying the Kinky Curly, but I mean, so many people have done, have reviewed Kinky Curly and stuff, so I don't know if I need to. If you are interested, I could do another video. But this was just me coming on here really quick and just kind of talking about my experiences with getting a wash and go effect with 4C hair and <clears throat> this is pretty much the effect that I get like I said it's not as defined but if I use maybe a more moisturizing leave-in or a moisturizing leave-in because I didn't use one here and really work in small sections and concentrate on those small sections I think uh, I would get um, an even more defined result. It's been a few months since I've used Kinky Curly Custard so I need to get back into the swing of things. Like I said it's an art to apply it and sometimes it's just trial and error until you figure out how it works for your hair. You know some people spoke about oh it's starting to flake so I stopped using it. I think Cash Cash TV I think she was saying that but it's really really about the leave-in that you use with it and um, there's one more thing the leave-in and the amount of the gel that you use but one thing I would say is that hey I mean if you have versatile hair where you can find other things to work um, on your hair that's fine but for me because of the damage I think it's just a medical issue I don't know or genetic issue but because of the hair loss and the horrible damage and breaking that I have and it's just become really really hard to maintain moisture and uh, I mean, I already, I think I always had a moisture problem, but, and then there was some improvement when I started to use, uh, you know, these, all these natural hair ingredients like shea moisture and whatever. I mean, I really saw improvement, but then 
a lot of stress hit me last fall. I've been going through a lot in my life. Running out of funding, not getting an internship for my psychology program, and just kind of being in limbo. So I don't know if stress contributed to it, but I really do believe that there has been hair loss even prior to that stressful event. I did notice thinning right at the sides here. So um, I'm going to be doing separate videos. I shouldn't be talking about this now. I'm going to be doing separate videos on my hair loss experiences and my theories but uh, for me the kinky curly custard is like a savior for me because uh, my hair is in a really bad state and my only options are shaving my head or trying to find a product that allows me to pull off a style to look like you know presentable and uh, this is just the best I've found regardless of its price so comment below let me know if you have similar experiences if you have any other product um, suggestions or just any general advice as to what I may be going through with my hair especially health um, advice I don't think there are too many vlogs on here about um, hair loss or you know what maybe I need to go do a search for hair loss vlogs so I'm gonna do that but regardless this is my experience and I hope I taught you something and please continue to watch rate comment and subscribe and that will encourage me to do more videos if I feel I'm really reaching to reaching out to the audience and if you guys learn from me and I'd love to learn from you all too so that's it for today bye before my memory runs out